Uh, we are just going to actually be doing a short uh, footwork workout today. So you actually don't need a ball at all because I know some of us commented that you don't always have a partner or um, maybe you don't always have a ball. I know most of you, excuse me, most of you do. So we're just going to focus on footwork today. So there's going to be, um, it's very, very short. Uh, there's going to be three types of people and if you play many positions, which a lot of you do, you want to do several. So one is going to be hitters. One's gonna be setters, and one's gonna be def defense. So if you get into either of those categories or all, then you're gonna wanna find those timestamps and go with that. Another thing is, um, because today's is so short, and usually the positional ones are a, a bit shorter, um, you're supposed to go on your mile run today, so try to improve on your time from last time. If you didn't get out and run a mile last time, make sure to go and do that today. Get out and run a mile or even more, more so you're ready for the season excuse my hiccups today so um let's start with uh hitters slash block blockers so if you hit it all you're gonna do this footwork today so let's do our blocking footwork from last time and i'll try to be more organized this time with my stopping and telling you when to go so let's just start with 15 regular block jumps so just squatting up and pr pressing over 15 of those. Go ahead and do that. Make sure you bring those shoulders to ears. Your thumbs are pointed up to the sky and just press press over and really load those legs. So 15 of those. Go ahead. Next, let's do 15. Just jump to the right. Step to the right and block jump. So step, press over. You can center back up. Step, press over. And again, just loading those legs. So go ahead and do 15 of those now. And then we'll do 15 to the left. So hop, press over, hop, press over. Go ahead, go ahead and do those. And now we'll do 15 full blocking transit transition. So stepping over, with our right, cross over, and pop. And you can get as big as you want. I don't have a whole lot of room to get on camera here. We'll do our right 15 first. Step, cross over, pop, press up, go back. Okay, hands are up and ready to block. Our low legs get loaded. Try to keep your shoulders square as much as you can. So 15 to the right. Go ahead and do that. And then 15 to the left. So step, press over, up, press, back. Woo. Okay. Very loaded in the legs. And obviously, if you're a right side, you feel more comfortable going one way. A left side, you feel more comfortable going the other way. But just go both ways. And you should be feeling that heart rate come up as you work on your block jumping. Okay. Great. Next, we're going to do uh, hitting footwork. So our left, right, left footwork. Very explosive. Let's really focus on the arms today. So bring your arms back, those palms facing upward, and then reaching forward with both hands. Bring both arms up. So I want you to really focus on your arms today. So we're loaded, we're ready, feet together, Right foot a little bit forward. You take your big left step and your small right left and then up into it. So big first step, little, little. So big, little, little. Left, right, left, up. That first step, your arms are coming forward. And then the last two, you swing back. So we're gonna do 15 of those here. Explode up, come down. Make sure you're jumping straight up and we don't wanna jump into that net. So maybe you wanna find a good net spot. Make sure, jump straight up. So 15 of those, go ahead. Lastly, for our hitters today, um, actually we'll do two more. So the first one, 
is just going to be your block. So again, similar to last week, block up and then transition back. And let's call our hit this time. So whatever you may play, you know, fives, um, fours, threes, twos, ones, Cs, slides, whatever you want to call and work on. So if you're a middle, you can kind of work on different transitions like we did last week. So I'll kind of do a few here. So we're going to block up, press, um, and then just open up with our right. Now, I guess if you're a middle or an outside, you open up with your right, cross over, hop. But if you're a right side, you want to open up to your center. So open up with your left, cross over, hop. Or a lot of times you get stuck in traffic and you just kind of have to sprint, sprint back, sprint back, and then go. So maybe try a few. So we're going to do 15 of these where we go up, back to that side, and we do our full transition. And again, up. Maybe you go middle now. One, one, one. Up. Okay, work on exploding. And then if you want, you can do a slide in that middle. See? Slide. Okay, I kind of went off camera there. But you get the gist. Now if you're right side, open this way. See? Okay, and if you're left-handed, you go opposite, obviously. Do 15 of those. All right, lastly, you kind of decide. Now, if you're middle, sometimes you gotta come off and get really short tips. That is wonky and it happens sometimes. Or if you're right side, you come off and you're digging that outside ball. Or if you're left side, you come off and you're digging that left side ball. So decide what position you are and let's come off the transition for a pass. We're not actually passing, let's visualize. So you don't always need a ball. Sometimes it's good to Visualize that motion. So to my outside, I'm coming off. Outside, outside. I just that digging motion. Okay. Transition out a little bit. And then we do our hitting footwork. Okay, so outside, outside. Dig. Come out. Five and five. And swing. Alright. So if you're middle, you might come off. Oh, tip, tip. I got it. One, one, one. Up. Okay. Same thing with our right side, open, back, 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 you dig, transition out, see. So 15 of those, you decide where you're at with that. All right, good job hitters. All right, setters today. I do want you to work on that digging motion and then going into a set. So say you're in Let's work on first if you're a front row. So if you're running a 5-1, you may be working on a front row. So let's do a little blocking for you setters first. So let's do 15 just regular block jumps, loading those legs, shoulders to ears, and press over. So 15 just straight up block jumps, press, shoulders to ears. So go ahead, pause, and do 15 of those. Now setters, let's go. Right and left, so 15, we'll do 15 to the right. We're just gonna hop and load up. Load our legs, press over to the right. This is my leg. Press, all right? Go ahead and do 15 to your right. Now let's do 15 to our left setters. Press, center back up, press. 15 of those and let's then do the full footwork let's just go both ways for practice so 15 to our right we're gonna step cross over and hop ready to load step cross over hop press up and you can get farther than me I'm on camera here to the right press all right make sure their shoulders are facing that net again shoulders to ears and load those legs up Go ahead and do 15 to your right. All right, setters, let's do 15 to our left. Step, press over, hop, press. Ready, ready, up. You can get way more athletic than me. I'm not shape, okay? So 15 to your left, go ahead. All right, setters, let's kind of combine that with 
say you're playing front row and you've got a block and then get a set. So let's just work on, again, no ball today. So you're visualizing getting those hands ready. Okay, hands to forehead, making that nice big water bottle shape right there. And we want, when we get our footwork, our right foot above a little in front of our left. Ready to go, set out. We want our hips facing towards that pole if there was a net. Okay, we don't, we don't want to be facing the net this way. We want to be this way. We don't want to be out too much. Okay, we want to square up the pole. So if we have to block, we'll just do a hot block. We don't need to do the full one. So let's just pretend there's a, you know, a right side set and you got to do a little hop over. So you're going to hop, block, it comes over, you're ready, reading it. And let's just practice the pass isn't perfect. It's just high into the middle. So get your feet there. Okay, right in front of our left a little bit. Practice fives, setting fives in motion. So let's just do hmm, 10 of those. So do your little hop block, right here, right here, little cross in, outside, and set. And do 10 of those. So go ahead, cause me and do that. All right, let's do 10 to the middle. You can choose one or, uh, one or three. So you can do your step and block. Ready, they pass high into the middle. Set of one, okay. Again. One, or you can set a three too. So maybe moving those arms a little more, visualize it. Three, all right. So 10 of those. All right, last setters. We're gonna do like a setting a C. Still wanna have your hips facing towards, and we don't wanna thrust our hips forward and give it away, okay? So try to keep your hips and set using those hands back. So again, back, block, high into the middle, square, and set. So 10 of those. All right, setters, almost done. Let's do one more. So we're gonna pretend we're back row setting. So our base is back a little bit. We're gonna pretend they're hitting a back ball. So we have to open up to our left, cross over to our right and get set. Dig it, visualize. And let's just do that because if we dig it, we want to pass high into the middle to our libero. So let's just start with that first. So back, back, back and dig to our libero. So not digging forward. And base, back, 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 dig to our libero. Now you're not gonna get the dig on the next one. So do 10 of those, pause me. All right, now let's do 20 now, 20 where you don't dig it. So here's our example. You're still going back, 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 like you're gonna dig, you don't get it. They're passing up to you, you wanna hustle to your, your uh, setting kind of circle and you decide if it's a perfect pass or not. So they, they pass it up to you and you decide where you want to set. Get your feet set, five. And again, it's just a visualization without a ball, which is, is good. So 20 of these, let's try. Again, back, back, back. Not to you, get ready, get ready. And C, okay? You can set whatever you feel comfortable with. You can practice one with a shank pass. So back, back, back. You're going up to base. Oh, nope. Then it has it and set. So 20 of those. All right, good job setters, that's it for you. And now let's go to our passers. So passers, this is a couple things for you guys as well. Um, just working on if you're in service receive um, and trying to get back for a ball first and then we'll do short as well. So let's do 15, we're, we're ready to pass. Pass is very relaxed. Okay, arms are down, ready to go. And a serve's coming at you. Again, no balls today, so visualizing. Serve's coming at you. Here it comes. You might need to shuffle back, pass. Mine, target, whatever is your target. Or you maybe open up cross, target, okay? So let's just practice those here. Mine, gotta get your feet behind it. All right, maybe you got the back pedal, feet behind it, good. Mine and target. Pretend you have a target. So do 15 of those. Just getting your hips and feet behind the ball, visualizing 
that setter. All right, next let's do some shorts. So right now we're kind of passing as if we're in the middle of the court. So you can also move over if you want. Maybe on this one just to try a different angle. So now you're in your ready to pass. So there's a short serve. So you can go up. Mine, try to stand your feet and run through it up to target. Mine, target. Practice running through, making that J stroke motion. Mine, so you're kind of coming up underneath and J stroking up. So let's try 15 of those. Go ahead and pause. All right, let's work on today. You know, last time we kind of did our wing defenders. Let's be our libero. Right now our libero played middle back, so. Let's be our libero here, and let's dig. We're gonna dig a bunch of balls. So, we're gonna go our visualizer to line, as if they're hitting a back, or to line, as if they're hitting an outside. I know I might be flipped around, so I'll just kind of describe it um, and play as if I was on the court. Um, and then we'll also do some campfire balls. So let's do 20 here of this one. So you're in middle back. We're pretty far back on that basketball free throw line. And they hit a back or a right side. This is my right side. And we need to transition, step with our right, cross over, and get over to the line. So back, back. And now we're a little bit more loaded because we're digging. And to target, our setter is usually a little bit this way, so we want to pass. You can practice a few different angles as well. So say you don't get all the way there, it's back, back, back. So if you have to reach and drop your shoulder and get to the platform there, target. So try a different, a few different shots. You might target, maybe you have to dive a few times to throw those in there. Do 20 where we're just visualizing different shots to our right, to a right side hit. Go ahead. All right, and they'll do the same thing with the left side, so it's kind of pretty much the same, so different angle to your target. So let's say we can get all the way there, outside, outside, and we get there, get low, dig to our target. Now, if you don't get all the way there, outside, outside, you really got to drop your right shoulder to get it there to target. So outside, outside, reach, practice your platform. So do 20 of those to your outside. And then we'll do 30 now in the middle, just different campfire shots. So you get to decide. And you're going to want to stay on those toes. So maybe it's a middle shot and you have to help out in the middle. Or maybe it's a right side or outside just tipping. And you know, sometimes your wing defenders aren't there. So you got to help out in that campfire spot. All right, so you say middle, middle. Practice your day stroke, get back. Outside, outside, reaching that platform again. Or right, 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 you gotta reach that platform again. So just work on that. So 30 of those, you kinda pick which way you're gonna go. All right, that's all I have for you today. So very quick workout. The biggest thing today is just visualizing the ball and then acting as if you have it and just really working on our platforms, working on our block jumps, exploding through the legs, working on our footwork. I mean, sometimes when you have a ball, we lose sight of those things. So it's nice just to not have one, really focus on our arms and legs, and just really get good at the, the movement. Because sometimes, again, that ball just, we want it so bad, and we just forget about those mechanics. So work on that today. And then most importantly, get out and run that mile. The reason this is short, nice and easy, good warm up. Now you can go run that mile. So go ahead and get out there and we'll see you tomorrow, girls. Bye guys.